Holy freaking cow, my Cardano friends. It's your friend Jack here. And today, we have a lot to cover, and there's been a lot going on in the Cardano space. Last night, Cardano hit new all-time highs of above $2.80, and as we speak right now today, Cardano is currently sitting above $2.90. First things first, before we get into the bulk of today's episode, I want to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by VDY, or Vita Divina Yoga. Vita Divina Yoga actually offers free yoga classes 7 days a week, and in order to offer these classes, they also have a C NFT collection. Yep, Cardano NFT collection that you can help support. Go check it out. You get some cool art and you also support a great cause of free yoga seven days a week. So if you're interested in that, go down to the description down below and go check out their links. And yeah, go enjoy some free yoga and possibly go pick up a pretty awesome CNFT as well from their collection. All right, guys, but what else is going on in the Cardano space? Things are blowing up. You know, things are going crazy, and amidst all this price action, first things first, you gotta make sure, are you staking your ADA? Are you staking the ADA, earning that passive ADA on top of your ADA? Do so if you're not. You can stake with Jackpool, or you can stake with any pool. Just make sure you're staking your ADA, my friends. All right, so what's going on? Well, Cardano's in the lead. That's what's going on, and it's been in the lead for a while now. Cardano has been leading the pack of cryptocurrency gains. In terms of top cryptocurrencies, for the past, uh, you know, two or three months, it's been pretty impressive. And Cardano has been an outstanding performer going into the next part of this cycle. At least that's what I'm thinking this is. A lot of people are saying we're going to go down, down, down after here. But I think we still have quite a ways to go up. That's just me personally. And there's a lot of reasons for that. But first things first, we need to talk about NFTs because NFTs are going to be playing a big part in Cardano as we come up to smart contracts and as more people come over to Cardano and see the NFTs are much more efficient on Cardano. Not only are they, you know, way less expensive, but they're also hosted on chain in a sense that the hash is stored on the blockchain and it's much less reliant on third party services. And another thing, you can mint Cardano NFTs for, you know, anyone can do it. It's super easy. There's no really walls there against users, but but Aside from Cardano NFTs, something pushing the markets to the peaks of these bull cycles, and it's going to remain doing so, is big corporations hopping in and getting a piece of the action. And Visa has recently hopped in on the NFT craze and buy, bought CryptoPunks, or bought one CryptoPunk for $150,000 worth of Ethereum. So if that's not signaling that we're still going up, I don't know what is, but honestly, I think this indicates some Cardano NFTs coming up next to the, you know, Visa funds, to the big corporations as we move into crazier times, even crazier than we are in today, uh, in the remainder of 2021. Also, keep in mind, my friends, we're all going to make it here at the ADA train and we're all going to make it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking. Now let's go ahead and look at the price. What is the price doing? That's what you guys probably came here for. Let's be honest, everyone likes watching the price, but you got to keep in mind too, what matters most is that there's people building on Cardano and you got to keep that in mind always. But today we're looking at the price. We're going to give it some, we're going to give it some eyeballs and we're going to see what's going on. So in terms of cryptocurrency land, Cardano is three cents below its all time high of 296. And in terms of the charts, Cardano is almost at a hundred billion dollar market cap. It is nearing the $100 billion market cap, and there's a very good chance we see that in the coming days and before September 12th, the release of smart contracts. Now, does this mean it's a great time to buy? Probably not because uh, we're so high up on the charts past our previous all-time high, but if you're planning on holding for a couple of years like me in my mom's basement, not a financial advisor, then you know I don't think it's as big of a deal from what price point you get in just because overall i'm very convicted personally that cardano is going to uptrend well past five or ten dollars in the next year uh easily to be honest but maybe i'm wrong so maybe you should do your own research you definitely should do your own research that's just my opinion but we're still 10 billion dollars above binance coin and securing that number three spot for the past few days has been something i've really been loving now what's been going on on the chart right so how did we get here well, last night we started around, you know, 270 when I had a stream and in that stream, that's 216 in that stream, which was around right here when I started, we were at 270 
and we witnessed live a climb from 270 to 283 and then 285 later in the stream all within a few hours right it was pretty insane it was pretty crazy and that stream was uh cardano history i might say but i really think we're going to go to three dollars in the next few days um we're, we're only eight cents off now and at this point it seems like three dollars isn't even you know a scary target like if you look at this wall i really 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 don't see us not hitting three dollars if we don't hit three dollars that's fine but someone mentioned in my stream also the next resistance is at around three dollars and forty cents uh, for the Fibonacci resistance. I don't have the trace uh, the retracement on right now, but you have to take my word for it. It's looking pretty bullish to get above three dollars, and that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cardano Daily. Keep in mind as we see these ten x's or five x's in cryptocurrency lands on altcoins and on Cardano. NFTs are also a very good thing to get into if you're looking to make some profits. There are, on Ethereum at least, you know, 100x, 200x people buying NFTs and selling them, uh, you know, a month later. So keep your eyes on NFT space. You don't have to enter the NFT space, but I keep your eyes on it if I were you. It's pretty freaking awesome. It's pretty cool. And it's sort of addicting. I like watching the charts. Anyways, hope you guys have a great day. It's been your friend Jack, and I'll see you guys in the next freaking video.